So in this video, I want to talk about one of the types of tissue, which is epithelial tissue. And so epithelial tissue is essentially just a flat sheet of closely adhering cells. So the cells are very tightly packed together. And the thickness is usually one to a few cells thick. And so as you can see on the diagram below, this top part right here is the epithelium, the cells, the pink cells. And so it's usually one to a few cells thick, but mostly one. There are different types of epithelial tissue, which we'll talk about in the next video, but this is just a summary. And so the epithelial tissue essentially covers body surfaces and lines body cavities. So as you can see, the upper part of this tissue right here, the upper part, um, it essentially is a boundary and the upper layer will be either exposed to the environment, such as your skin, for example, or they'll be exposed to an internal space in the body, for example, um, the lining of your heart or the lining of your organs or maybe the lining of your esophagus for example those are all epithelial tissue and epithelial tissue also makes up most glands and so let's talk about more about the function of epithelial tissue let me just clear some of this and so Right here I've listed a bunch of the functions of epithelial tissue and essentially you can remember these functions by just thinking about skin for example. Skin is going to protect you. So epithelial tissue has many functions. Protection, secretion, absorption, excretion, filtration, and sensation. And essentially your skin has all of those functions if you just think about it. Um, your skin is going to protect you from injuries. So for example, if you get scratched or whatever, um, your skin is going to protect you. And then your skin also secretes oil and stuff to try and keep your skin um, essentially healthy. And your skin is also going to absorb many things and also excrete things by sweating and then sensation obviously you could feel someone touching you and then filtration you just essentially add on but it's important to remember that the skin is not the only epithelial tissue there are epithelial tissue it just the epithelial tissue lines every organ pretty much and so the epithelial tissue will form the external and the internal linings of many organs. And so this epithelial tissue also, it's on top of loose connective tissue. And so the loose connective tissue will supply blood and um, other nutrients to the epithelial tissue um, because the epithelial tissue has no blood vessels, it can't take in nutrients and excrete waste easily. And so it does that by essentially going through the loose connective tissue. And so it's dependent on the layer of loose connective tissue um, that blood supply for nutrients and waste removal. And so that pretty much gives you an overview on what epithelial tissue is. In the next video, I'm going to talk about the different types of epithelial tissue because depending on the cell shape, as you can see down here, this one's cuboid and this one's squamous epithelium. Depending on the shape of the cells that make up the epithelial tissue, um, there are different names designated to that tissue. And so I hope this video helped you. If it did, please give it a like and share it with your friends.